everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the Windows Defender Threat Service has stopped running. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I would suggest would be to open up the start menu, type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result, should come back a registry editor. You want to right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to go ahead and select yes. Now I'm going to have a registry path in the description of my video. I want you guys to copy it and then go up to the top address bar of the registry editor here. Delete whatever is here and then we're going to paste in what I have in the description of my video here. So you can see this path here starts with computer, ends with Windows Defender. Hit enter on your keyboard. If you see something that says disable anti-spyware, you want to right click on it and select delete. Select yes, and then you would restart your computer and then hopefully that would have been able to resolve the problem. You can also close out of here and open up the start menu. Type in services, best result should come back with services listed right above app. Go ahead and left click on that. This is after you've already restarted your computer. So restart your computer. Hopefully it should have worked at that point and everything should be good and back up and running. So now, if, assuming that, that did not get Windows Defender back up and going, we're gonna first locate the Security Center service. So we're gonna go down to the S category. And right here, you wanna go double click on that. Make sure service status is running. If it is stopped, you want to select the start option and startup type, make sure it's set to automatic. And then you'd select apply and okay to save that. And then the second service you would look for is the Windows Defender Advanced Threat Protection. It may also alternatively be referred to as the Windows Defender Antivirus Service. They change it so frequently, you really never know what it's going to be with the next update. But you can see Windows Defender Advanced Threat Protection Service right here. We're going to go double click on that startup type. We're going to set that to automatic as well. We're going to start that service and then you're going to select apply and OK. Start that service. It might not work since we haven't restarted a computer like I told everybody to do, but it should restart once your computer restarts and there shouldn't be an issue like you're seeing here. And you select apply and OK. Again, like I said, you'd restart your computer and then you would adjust these services and then once you've done that you should be able to go check for updates through Windows Defender antivirus run a scan and everything should be up to date so as always thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial do hope that I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye